youth-led action for sustainable and inclusive development. That is the commitment of the Commonwealth, which has designated 2023 as the Year of the Youth. St. Lucia's Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Kenson Casimir, says that the Year of the Youth activities will prevail despite initial setbacks. Uh, for anybody to indicate that nothing has happened with youth, it, it, either, it, it either speaks to um, somebody who's not paying attention to young people or somebody who's just being disingenuous about the, the realities of what's happening. Um, I mean, the Youth Economy Agency, there's a huge collaboration between the Youth Economy Agency and the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. I mean, we've mentioned the fact that we're going to be semi-professionalizing um, football, and that is just not a football initiative, because we bring in young persons who are into photography, into videography, into other aspects of sport, physiotherapy, into the actual thrust to do things. Excitement for the much-anticipated youth parliament is building as young leaders will debate pertinent issues in the House of Assembly in a mock sitting of parliament. Youth parliament is coming up very soon, so I'm very excited about what young people will have to see for youth parliament. And the whole thrust is to have more th frequent youth parliaments. So we'll see later on in the year another youth parliament as opposed to in times past we only have one youth parliament. So we believe that we need to give young people the opportunity to speak more. And so this government is definitely giving them that opportunity. And despite the naysayers who are not convinced of the groundwork and activities to commemorate the Year of the Youth, Casimir believes the outcome of the events, engagements and impact will prove them wrong. We've heard some statements by the opposition indicating that nothing has gone on with you. Uh, first and foremost, is it's absolutely fallacious for anybody who's a former prime minister to not understand the way things actually materialize with, with as it pertains to the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports and where funding comes from. Uh, most of our projects are funded um, from the National Lotteries Authority, and so you may not necessarily see um, it reflected in the budget, but it doesn't mean that things have not been done. An in-depth look into crime prevention and reduction techniques and solutions is high on the agenda during the Year of the Youth. For the Year of the Youth and for this year, our focus is on uh, the fight against crime. So most of the thematic areas you will see will be delved into that. We're expecting to have a dance competition later on. You've seen the ministry um, collaborate with the SLFE. Um, to bring out some messages as it pertains to um, fighting against crime. And so I think that we're heading in the right direction and more things will be happening as the year goes by. Year of the Youth 2023 coincides with the 50th anniversary of the Commonwealth Youth Program, established to deliver support for young people under the age of 30 and help them reach their full potential.